Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the default gateway is not available error on your Windows computer. So if you're coming across this issue when you're running the troubleshooting utility and you see this error message, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we are going to start by opening up the start menu, type in control panel. Best match to come back with control panel. Go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by to large icons and then left click on power options. Whatever plan is currently selected, you want to select change plan settings. And then select the change advanced power settings. You want to expand the wireless adapter settings section, so select the little plus sign next to that. And then click the little plus sign underneath power saving mode. And set it to maximum performance. So you see it says maximum performance here. It should be blue and whatever it might say in here for you guys. So click inside of it. And then click inside the drop down and make sure it's set to maximum performance. And then select apply and OK. You can close out of here at this time. Restart your computer and hopefully that has been able to resolve your problem. One further thing you can attempt would be to do a complete network reset. So you just will have to make sure you have your Wi-Fi key handy so when you restart your computer and you ask for your network credentials you can just type it in without too much of a hassle. So to initiate that network reset just open up the start menu, type in network reset, select that from the list of options, so just network reset and then this will remove then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the reset now option. You will select yes in this prompt and then just restart your computer after you've closed out of any open programs and applications. And that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.